right so hello everyone so today we are going to take a look at unreal engine 5 for the first time so yeah first if you don't have unreal engine 5 early access you can go to the big games launcher and they are under unreal engine you will notice this ue5 tab but if you don't have that you you may have to simply uh, update the launcher then you will get it so right now i have downloaded it so let's head over to the library and here let's launch unreal engine 5 and see okay i got this notification let's allow access right so this is the project browser for unreal engine 5 and actually i'm not going to try and update upgrade or migrate any of the previous projects so i'm just gonna create a new project can i just change the location here oh wait how do i create a new project right here okay i think let's continue with the third person character uh, same as previously oh here we file let's create a new project here you can set the project location and here you can set the name and i'm going to use a blueprint and target is desktop uh start a content yeah let's enable it ray tracing i don't need for the moment okay let's create the project right so this is what i got project file is out of date i got some notifications in my left uh, screen but i pressed it okay uh content drawer control space all right so in order to get the content browser uh, they call it content drawer for some reason now i have to press control and space ah here uh, let me put aside my sign oh content drawer okay maybe that's because this is like a drawer go up and down okay shall we play this so here we have the play button and if i press f11 it goes to the full screen mode same as before okay i don't really see anything different i mean for the moment other than the interface uh, right oh uh, so where oh right here we have the things that we can create shapes uh, we can oh all right when I select so I guess this is where I drop the new cube let me delete it so if I select you can still see the details panel here um, yeah same as before we have the transform details physics so still the same things but we have a nice UI uh, I mean I didn't I didn't have a problem with the previous UI this is different okay so yeah again let's try to drag and drop some object ah here so if I drop this oh now we have like the previous style same as before okay uh, let's just drag and drop a cube yeah that's the same thing nothing much of a difference what see oh, fracture editing mode now oh, here we have some of the uh, editing modes okay this is landscape mode right this is foliage mode this is mesh paint this is fracture editing that is something new 
I'm not sure actually what happens there. We have some fracture settings. Let's select one of these and fracture. Oh, well, I don't know. Let's figure it out later. Okay, uh, now let's take a look at the character. Let's open the character blueprint. Uh, we can still dock stuff into here. Well, same as before, I think. Right, even graph oh, blueprints look same. They don't have any visual difference. Much of a visual different. Oh, I can see this FE is quite different from what we had before. Mm -hmm. right so yeah it's somewhat same so let's now take a look at the skeletal mesh preview that also seems like same even though the UI is different so actually that's a good thing I'm not complaining it's a really good thing so we don't have any problem with continuing into UE5 if you are already familiar with UE4 so yeah I like when they are same so we don't have to spend time on looking for the stuff that we already knew in Unreal Engine 4 uh, mm, oh I guess this is a schematic this is a skeleton view and this is yeah, this is the skeleton view. This is mesh view. This is animation. As animations, yeah. Okay, this is animation blueprint. do we have two lines here I'm not really sure what that means okay so what's this uh, physics asset okay let's simulate this where do I simulate this we used to have some simulate button oh button here maybe oh, right here okay that's all right Of the simulation right so what else do we need to check out is this the same sky sphere oh is this the sky atmosphere no I don't think so this looks like the same one we had do we have any time value or anything not really yeah so this is the same sky uh, same sky sphere not the sky atmosphere that introduced back in 4.25 i guess i don't remember the exact version there we had some uh, features like time of day system 
right now let's take a look at the material editor let's open the let's create a material oh no let's open one of the materials of this character <coughs> right oh this is same as before Mm, yeah, we have the palette here just like before we can drag and drop this stuff uh, What is this clean drop? It is already clean I guess All right, what else we should check? Uh, here we have our maximizer so restores this viewport all right this view feels like Maya or any other software oh uh, maybe we already had this in your UFO but I never used it right let's create a new map using this time of day system I don't want to save this okay let's delete this and create a landscape create Let's go to place. Wait. Mm. Actually, I want to. All right, here. I want to move them up. And just uh, start. Okay, uh, let's take a look at how the sculpting works here. Oh, well, it looks like the same. Let's assign some materials. I have starter content. Mm -hmm. The materials, let's see. What do we have? Oh, wait. We have um, ground grass. Let's put it. Okay. Let's play this. Okay, and we have sky atmosphere here. Here. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's select the directional light and rotate it a little bit and see. Mm. Oh, it's night. Let's check how is the FPS. 
uh, it's 40 where can we change the scalability Right. Okay, actually, I think it's quite all right i don't have anything else to test for now and yeah so i'd like to stop this episode this simple uh, small episode here so yeah i'm quite happy with unreal engine 5 and i can see as i can see uh, we can smoothly continue all the work that we have done up to now so far in unreal engine 4 with unreal engine 5 but i'm not sure if i should do it right now because still this is early access not um the shipping version uh so yeah but anyway go to try this and okay so thanks for watching and yeah as always if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club link would be in the description below and there is no need to distribute the project files of the this small test I did, so I'm not going to release it. Uh, but yeah, so in future I will definitely get some more episodes on how to do some stuff in Unreal Engine 5. And yeah, and we will continue with Unreal Engine 4 with the usual stuff we already doing until it is time is until the time is good to migrate these all of these projects into unreal engine 5 and thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye